Welcome friends, it's Ray. Thank you so much for joining me today. In today's video, I am making five cards with the August 21 My Monthly Hero Arts card kit. Card number one is a slimline card and uh, let's jump right into the background. I used the watercolor paper that came in the kit and the large background stamp that came in the kit. I used Versamark embossing ink to stamp uh, the image um, three times on the panel. So first in the middle and then on each end, um, applying clear embossing powder to the panel using a paintbrush to remove the excess and then heating that with my embossing tool. After heat embossing, I started to watercolor and uh, made such a mess, I decided to spray my background panel instead. And then I will show you later how I finish off that blooper. I am spraying the panel with liquid watercolor from Hero Arts um, that I made in a spray bottle and added water. I have a video on that. I will be sure to link to that in the description below. I'm using indigo, dandelion, pink, hot pink, purple, orange, and then a plum fuchsia is what I'm calling the seventh color. I also sprayed my panel uh, with some sparkle shimmer spray and set it aside to dry. Next, I die cut the hands from the kit twice on 120 pound opaque white cardstock and use my Ohuhu skin tone markers, alcohol markers to color in uh, the hands off camera. But I will list the colors in the description bar. I add color to the fingernails and cut those out with my scissors uh, or finish cutting them out uh, because the die doesn't cut the ends. And uh, after cutting the ends, I mounted those, the colored um, hands onto the white cardstock using liquid adhesive. I set those aside to dry under an acrylic block and then start working on my uh, focal panel. I have the sentiment that I've already heat embossed um, with white embossing powder and I am using some low tech tape to tape my hands onto uh, the front of the image and I used my die to um, cut those out and or it's a partial cutout. I just want it uh, the bottom part of the the hands uh, so that I would know how to line them up with my sentiment. I applied some just some regular tape on the back to affix the sentiment strip and hands together. And then I'm cutting out a small piece of acetate to cover the back of the heart. I affix the acetate with liquid glue. Next, I'm going to cut out uh, a small square uh, from the packaging that a stamp set came in. 
uh, that's some light acetate. I make certain that I keep the bottom. Uh, and so I cut on three sides and the bottom is um, already or remains intact. And between there, I uh, use some regular shipping tape to tape down the back of the where the hands were cut from the black card stock because I want that to be solid. I use the die cut because I want it to get um, make it easy to cut out the center where the heart is and align my hands. So here I am using some chunky glitter and um, got too much there and put some back and using some just some regular tape to tape uh, the left and the right sides of my little shaker pouch and then we'll tape the top of that trimming off the tape and then I'm going to test it to make sure that I have all of the sides sealed and then um, if not add more tape but these this looks pretty good okay next I add some double-sided tape on the back of the shaker pouch um, and then we'll fix that to the back of my heart. I trim my main panel down to three and a half by eight and a quarter. And here I'm placing my shaker pouch uh, uh, behind my image or focal image. And then am using a pencil to kind of measure off where I want to put my double-sided adhesive, my, uh, actually my foam squares, um, because I want to definitely make the entire focal image level. Uh, and with having that shaker pouch, it's not level right now, but uh, this foam tape will level it out. So I'm gonna place that uh, all around my focal image uh, based on my measuring from left to right so that I would know, you know, where to cut it. I use my adhesive razor to remove some unwanted adhesive at the corner there. So once I mount uh, my shaker, focal shaker image, uh, onto the panel, I trim both the left and right sides and then affix that to my card base using double sided tape. I finished off the card uh, with some Nouveau Glitter Crystal White Blizzard Drops um, and actually just used it to accent. Uh, five of the circles or half circles. I added three drops of the white blizzard to the top part of the panel and this gives the panel such shine and dimension. Love the way this card turned out. Card number two is also a slimline card and um, I started out by taping the stencil from the kit to watercolor paper from the kit. I used a removable tape runner to add uh, some stickiness um, throughout the panel. Uh, not every you know, inch of it, but just in, in key places uh, from left to right, uh, so the stencil wouldn't move. So here I'm spraying my panel with teal and purple and plum fuchsia, 
and decide that I want uh, to remove the uh, post-it note tape that I put at the bottom because I'm going to want to use this for a slim length card. So I need more length to this panel. So I removed uh, that post-it note tape and I'm using Plum Fuchsia teal and purple sprays on this panel. Oh, I'm loving the way that this is looking. So I'm going to remove the stencil, wash that, and set this panel aside. To I'm using the scrapbook.com in sympathy stamp set um, to stamp my cover image. I stamp that off camera, heat and floss it with alabaster white embossing powder from Brutus Monroe, and then uh, place that on um, um, a backing, a matting of white cardstock, just scrap cardstock. And um, now we'll trim that down so that I have about one eighth of an inch border around that sentiment strip. I, mat I trimmed down my uh, focal panel to three and a half by eight and a quarter and mounted that onto some light blue cardstock from my stash and left about one eighth of an inch of matting around the focal panel. I affixed that uh, sentiment strip to the panel using liquid adhesive. I turn the panel over and trim off the excess. After mounting the panel to my card base using double sided tape, I affix some pink and main all occasion enamel dots, just three of those dots, uh, and wanted to keep this card um, pretty simple. So that finishes off this card. I added a little Ranger multi matte medium glue uh, underneath the, the enamel dots just to make sure they are secure. And then I added um, another sentiment from that same stamp set to the inside of my card. Card number three is a slimline card. And I use the um, color swatch guide from the kit and uh, to mix a few colors. First though, I placed the pink, the dandelion, and the indigo, just one drop into my, um, onto my palette, and then brought in the pink again and placed one drop of pink and two drops of indigo, and the dandelion, one drop, pink, one drop, mixed together, and then the last color, Indigo, one drop, and dandelion, one drop, just to do a little mixing. Next, I pulled in some acetate um, paper or acetate packaging from a stamp set and cut it uh, down and just kind of balled it up basically. And I'm applying ink splatters all over this watercolor paper from the kit. Looks like a hot mess, uh, but stick with me. It actually um, comes out uh, actually pretty colorful. And the watercolor dries back and so it's going to lighten and that definitely is going to help it. I am 
just scribbling on paint uh, using that using cellophane. I do change uh, the cellophane with each color and um, am applying as much of all of the color as I can, uh, having fun. And then um, I want to color this a little bit more, so I bring in my yellow or my dandelion, my pink, and spray the panel. And then I bring in some sparkle shimmer spray uh, and spray that and set it aside to dry. So glad I did. Look at that. It's dry now and looks a hundred percent better. I die cut three panels uh, or banner dies uh, from the panel using Elizabeth Crafts stitch diagonal dies and matted those on black card stock and um, trim those out uh, so that my matting was about is about an eighth of an inch and now I have positioned these on my panel just a white panel and using liquid adhesive to um, affix them to the white panel and liquid adhesive is going to give me more wiggle room uh, which is good because I'm going to um, need that as I position these panels on my white panel. I heat emboss my sentiment off camera uh, on black cardstock using Brutus Monroe Alabaster White Embossing Powder and Versamark ink. And so now I am placing my sentiment uh, uh, turned over to the back using some pencil, uh, a pencil to measure out where it's going to be cut so that I know where to place my little half, not half, one eighth of an inch strips uh, on the left and the right, uh, just so that I can level out uh, the sentiment strip. I'm doubling those one eighth inch strips up. And um, so again, so that um, the strip will be level with my uh, panel. Using liquid adhesive, I then go ahead and place my sentiment strip onto my panel using an acrylic block to hold it down so that it adheres more evenly. evenly. <laughs> and then I trim off the back um, of each side and mount my white panel onto a black card base or card mat that's about an eighth of an inch and then um, mount the entire panel onto my card base and there I am using um, an eraser. I'm adding three of the All Occasion Pink and Main enamel dots to finish off this card. Card number four is also a slimline card. This was very fun to make. I'm using a three and a half by eight and a half piece of Hero Hues cranberry card stock. And I've placed that in my Misty with just some scratch paper behind it. And I'm using scrapbook.com's chocolate, dark chocolate um, pigment ink. And um, just wanted something other than black. And using a, an acrylic block uh, that has the grid on it, because this is going to help me keep everything aligned. Uh, and I'm using the I Love You uh, stamp from the kit and the heart from the kit and um, every third row will have a heart at some point uh, so just 
uh, lining that as up as I go and stamping uh, on a diagonal. I repeat the stamping down the entire front of the panel, just alternating uh, where I begin stamping the words so that they don't all line up, um, you know, at the same point. I've taken a piece of um, brown cardstock from my stash and I'm just running my ink pad um, down each corner of this panel and um, just changing the color of the paper to make it darker so that it matches my stamping. Doing the same for this one inch strip. I uh, want to color that up for my sentiment. So now that I have that inked up, I am going to dry that off camera with my heat tool and then place my panel, my red panel or cranberry panel on top at an angle. I trim off, turn it over and trim off the excess of the red card stock uh, from the back. I stamp my sentiment using Versamark ink uh, onto my one inch strip after I let it dry and uh, use some Hero Arts silver embossing powder. I use my heat tool to heat set that sentiment strip. I use double sided tape to affix my panel to my card B. I affix it to my panel and bring in some liquid platinum nouveau crystal drops um, and color in one of my hearts and place three drops randomly across the front of the panel. I wanted to make this a masculine card and like the combination of cranberry, brown, and platinum or silver. I think this is my favorite card. Let me know in the comments um, if you have a favorite. Card number five is an A2 card using a stencil from the kit. And here, my stencil still has a uh, tack on it, so I just placed it on some of the watercolor paper from the kit. And I'm using uh, a spray, a pink, orange, and uh, purple, bring in some purple, and some dandelion spray. Uh, and again, I will link to the video where I mix the sprays uh, using the the color swatches from the kit and uh, mix those um, in spray bottles. I'll link to that video. I bring in my sparkle shimmer spray on this panel as well and uh, we'll set that aside to dry. I die cut the love die three times out of a 120 pound uh, accent opaque paper cardstock and am using liquid glue to um, glue those together. I die cut my panel um, using an MFT wonky frames die and then I use a ruler and my mat, my craft mat to line up uh, the placement of the letters and then I will fix those with craft tacky glue. This card was super quick to make. Once I got my letters um, glued down then I placed my acrylic block over top uh, so, the, so that they would set well. I then brought in my all-occasion 
pink and main enamel dots again and placed three of those um, in a diagonal on my panel. Let me know in the comments if you have a favorite card. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're not already,